hello and welcome to a new Kubio tutorial. Today we're going to talk about website and page settings in Kubio. When you edit any page inside the Kubio editor, you will notice a page editing panel on the right hand side. Now, the moment you select any element on the page, you will no longer see the page editing panel on the right, but the block editing panel. Don't panic, you can always use the go back arrow to get to the page editing panel. The first option in the panel is called page settings. Here you can choose a featured image, enable comments, or select a parent page for the current page. Next, we have three important sections, the header, the content, and footer. Let's take them one by one. Inside header you can choose a new header design from the Kubio ready-made sections. Just click on a design, and it will replace the current one, while adapting to the current color scheme. You can also make changes to the hero section from choosing a different layout structure to making all sorts of styling changes inside the block editing panel. There's a link in the description to a blog article that brings more details to this topic. Now, the block editing panel has three main sections, the content or layout, style, and advanced. It's here where all Kubio styling magic happens. Most of the options available inside the advanced menu are common across Kubio sections, columns, and blocks. Other particular edits across various blocks lie inside the content and style options. You can also make all sorts of edits to the navigation block as well. There's another link in the description of this video with a blog article with more details on the topic. Now, let's move on to the content part. Here you will see all the sections from the page. You can reorder them by drag and drop, or remove the ones you no longer need. Here's a shortcut to editing every section separately. Now, let's say you are creating a one-page website. This means that you might want to add certain sections to the menu. This is how it's done. Next, let me show you how to add a new content section. Just click on the plus sign over here. Next, click on the section block. Notice that at the bottom of the page you will have the option to select a layout or add a predefined section. Let's go with the first option. First, we need to select the number of columns. Next, we will add blocks to the columns using the plus sign. Let's do this again. But now, let's go with a predefined section. Kubio comes packed with more than 100 sections across various topics, about, team, portfolio, and many more. Such a section is actually made from a combination of blocks. You might have paragraphs, headings, buttons, images, and other. Every block can be edited separately using the block editing panel. Now, the moment you select the section, make sure that you have section written inside the block editing panel. This is how you know that the selection is done properly and you didn't click on another block. Now, notice this toolbar. It allows you to move the section on the page, either by drag and drop, either by using these arrows. Now, there's a shortcut here as well for adding predefined sections. Next, there's the footer. Like in the case of headers, you can select a different footer design from the predefined sections. Now, when you want to make edits to the footer, you will be asked if you want to change the effect only the current page or the other pages as well. There's a link in the description of this video with more info on footer editing. What else do we have here? Under general settings, you can set up the elements of the website's identity as well as the global styles. Here you can establish the site title, the tagline, and upload the logo. Now, the global styling allows you to be consistent with your design. All the sections will have the same spacing. All the headings will have the same sizes, etc. The global site settings allow you to streamline the design process and to create a cohesive website experience. The Kubio starter sites have global styling set, but you can always come here and make changes. This means that you won't need to change every time the font family, color, or size of headings, links, and paragraphs. You can set them up here. The same goes for the global color scheme. Kubio has predefined color palettes, but you can create custom ones. You can also define spacing, form styling, 
and the transition duration for all the website effects. Here you can also place your own custom styling. In the description of this video you'll find a link with more in-depth info on the topic of global styling. The last thing on today's list, menus. Every starter site has some predefined menus. You can enter them and reorder the menu items, delete them, update them, or add new items. You can also create a brand new menu. Start by giving it a name. Next, add some menu items. Save when done, and that was all. See you next time.